Hey everybody, it's been about a month since I posted my video in this FTC press release where they said that those warranty void if removed stickers are nonsense, illegal, and that companies need to stop using them. And that was a great step forward for independent repair, as well as anybody that cares about actually owning your own personal property. The reason that is, is because we used to live in a world where if you decided to open your device so that you could change the battery, or replace the hard drive, or upgrade the RAM, or blow out the fan, or decide that you wanted to do some basic maintenance, or dare I say, take it to an unauthorized technician that's actually going to fix it rather than throw it out and try to sell you a new one for 90% MSRP, that your warranty was gone. And that's a society that we've been very slowly moving towards every single day because people weren't speaking up, because people didn't care. But thanks to every single one of you, all 407,000 of you, that is not a future that we are going to live in. And I want every single one of you right now to give yourselves a round of applause and a pat in the back for being a part of the cultural shift that's happening that's not allowing that future to be the future that we live in. Lawmakers, state senators, large manufacturers are all changing their tune, and that's all because because of you. And Asus is following suit right now. As you can see up here, they changed their warranty policy to get rid of that whole nonsense where if somebody else opened it, or if anybody opened it, well, you don't have a warranty anymore. Now, the burden of proof is on the manufacturer to actually show not just that you removed a sticker, but to say how and what it is that you did to void the warranty. They have to say, you bridge these two pins and send 16 volts to this thing. You broke this plastic piece or physically damaged it. You spilled water on it, not you opened it. Because if you can't open something that you own, you probably don't own it. And this is something that we've been getting closer and closer to with each device, with each device that's sealed shut, with each device with soldered on memory, with each device with proprietary screws, with each device where if I post a damn nine minute video showing you how to replace a damn keyboard fuse that a, com that a law firm contacts me and says to take the damn video down. We've been moving closer to that every single day. And the reason that this happened is not just because of me, it's because of all of you who spoke up and did something. All of you who contacted a state senator. All of you who contacted one of these companies and said, hey, I'd love to give you your money, but these anti-repair practices are not something that I'm cool with. Every single one of you that decided to open a business based on watching these types of videos and offered this type of service to your customers. And when they're this close to giving you a hug because you recovered their dead kids' pictures from their uh, iPhone that got tossed into the ocean, you tell them, I was this close to not being able to recover it because when I try to buy these parts, they get confiscated by customs at the border. Or Apple will decide to sue somebody that makes a schematic available. This is what you can do to let people know that this is something that you want us to be able to do. For every single one of you that decided to fix something again as a result of these videos and was able to give somebody something that they otherwise wouldn't have had and could tell them, I learned it based on watching this stuff. For every single one of you that decided to get people involved and engaged in the repair community again, this is on you. For every single one of you that have commented on a video, shared a video, upvoted it somewhere, or decided to share it with somebody that needed something fixed that was this close to throwing it in the garbage because they didn't know that all they needed to do was reflow U8900 or replace C7771. This is all on you. We used to live in a culture where repair was something that we took pride in. Not just for the sustainability part, not even just for the saving money part, but just for the pure kick of dopamine that comes from figuring something out and making it work again when it didn't work before. That happiness and pride in your own sense of ingenuity that you were able to make something work again. And that's something that we've lost as a culture, but it's something that we're gaining back. And it's something that I'm very proud that we're gaining back. And it's something that every single one of you who is a viewer is a part of. It's something that I've tried to do here for the last four to five years. I've wanted to kind of humanize repair. I've wanted to make it something that's interesting, engaging, exciting, fun, not this thing where it's just this guy in a back room that tells you, it'll be 1200 to do this to your car, who's you know trying to jip you and screw you out of money because as they, like, they rub their hands together. I've tried to make it into something that's actually fun and exciting and engaging, something that you would want to be a part of and something that you would be proud to see more ingrained in our culture. And we're making strides with that every single day. Today it's ACES. Yesterday it was the FTC. Tomorrow, who knows? Maybe Apple, maybe some other company. But the tide is turning on these manufacturers that want us to rent products from them rather than own them. And the tide is turning and the door is closing on this idea that we live in a culture where everything is disposable. And that's really cool. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Lewis, well, companies, they, you know, they need to be able to avoid warranties if, if you so much as like put a screwdriver into something because a lot of people are idiots and they're going to break their own products. Look at your streams. Look at how 
how many of your live streams where you're saying that this person broke something and how dare they and okay fair enough people break things that they own all the time while they're trying to fix them and a lot of people do terrible jobs of trying to repair their own stuff you don't need a warranty void if removed sticker because people who are really bad at fixing things they're going to make it very obvious when they mess something up in a manner that's really easy to prove you're not going to have to have some sophisticated methodology to prove that somebody who's dumb messed something up it's really obvious. Look at that long screw in the short hole. Look at that broken piece of plastic. Look at that chip that's on the wrong way. Thank you very much for being a part of this. Thank you very much for being a part of the cultural shift. And as always, I hope you learned something. Give yourself a pat in the back today because every single one of the people that watches this channel, even if you don't fix something, even if all you've done is share a video with one person who managed to make something work again or get somebody excited about repair, you are a part of this movement and you've helped make it happen.